live. Woo! Another live stream. Another learn day. Awesome. And today, we're going to talk about learning. All right, so, how's everyone? I haven't configured the chat. Let me do that. Someone says it's already gonna watch this later. It's all right. You can watch it whenever you want. Whoa, I don't wanna do that. Well, I'm gonna switch to this for a second. Put the chat link there. Okay, now chat should work. Orlando, what's up Orlando? Hey MES, what's up? What's up guys? Emails all around. How are you guys um, doing? How are you been doing? Here is the uh, weather is hot as always, but uh, we're doing good. It's all right. I want to know what the name of MES is. Tell us your name, MES. Tell us your name. <laughs> Tell us. All right, so I just let's just wait a few a few minutes uh, so people can get here and uh, and we can start uh, doing this thing. Uh, Today we're gonna do the uh, giveaway for June. Everyone that support us uh, on Patreon with uh, ten dollars or more. Uh, that's your name, Mess. That's your name. I don't think so. No, dude, that's not your name. Come on, tell us your name. It's not your name. That is not your name. <laughs> uh, what I was talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm just closing another window that I had. It's been busy day, busy, busy, busy day, but uh, I'm here. I managed to make it. So yeah, uh, let's start talking about stuff because I don't know people are here already let's start talking let me switch to open let's open Houdini uh, should I do the giveaway already now I'm gonna hold on to that right somebody's gonna be Enjoying a train in this uh, month because uh, we lost some Patreons, so that's better for the ones that are, that are still supporting us. Which is great. Hey, Bob, what's up? What's up, Bob? So, what do you guys been up to? Do you guys see the saw the latest tutorial I did? <laughs> Miss Rob, I think I've saw I've seen your name before, Miss. So yeah, if you wanna be uh, called Miss, that's cool by me, man. That's cool by me. So yeah, this month we have seven Patreons. There are going for the for the win there. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Somebody's gonna win some training. Give away. It. 
useful. I don't remember the 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 uh, giveaway tool that I used the last time. That was fun. Let me see the video for that. Yeah, so it's if you want to get on the giveaway, just support us on Patreon, ten bucks, and and you're in. She's pretty cool. And you get training that costs uh, $65, 89 dollars. She's it's good, I think. You support us, and we give you some training. Yay! Yeah. I let me have... turn the volume of that. Uh, let's see. What's the web page for that? There we go. I got it. I got it. This is this is cool. Random name picker. Cool. Got it. All right. So let's start with uh with stuff. Let's start with stuff. <laughs> uh, so. Everybody saw the uh, let me switch my camera, right? I'm on the other one. All right, there is Houdini Houdini What we all love Hey stretcher 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 stretcher. Yeah stretcher stretcher <laughs> Okay, so and I, I should program like a giveaway tool inside Houdini <laughs> since, since we're gonna be using that every month right so you guys saw that uh, there was like everyone was posting about the uh, Disney cloud right let me just scale this perfectly there we go so I was playing with the Disney asset but the other assets there's there's two two things there there's the um, the assets there are the from the movie Moana and those assets let's let's open that thing yeah that Disney club was yeah was everywhere but um, there was something else like let's go to the library have it here uh yeah the cloud it's one thing but there's also the the island but that island as you can see here it's come comes into these folders you guys can see that right yeah you're seeing my screen all right let me make these folders bigger so you can see it comes with folders and if you import some object objects they're they're just like the so there's a lot of instances along the scene so if they exported one scene with everything will be like a hell which which is n not how people work anyway so there's a bunch of instances and they uh, they supply the basic geometry and there and you can you have to recreate the the scenes and they come with these JSON files that are uh, all the information it's 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 on basically if we open one of these guys guys you can see there is a bunch of just JSON code that that is saying what geometry you should load, where the uh, instances should be placed, a lot of matrices uh, for the uh, for the positions and stuff. Uh, there's even uh, curves, position for curves and stuff. Hey, Riz, what's up? Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff and I've been working on that uh, let me show you what I've done I think it's I think I broke it at the moment I, it might be broken right now but let's see if we can import some so I've been working on some code to import the stuff you can see it's there uh, oh yeah I know what I changed I changed uh, I changed some stuff to to load instances instead of uh, to load, uh, what is that thing I want? What do you want to say? 
Hey Mex, Mexian, what's up? I changed some stuff to make it uh, that instead of it loads the geometry into Houdini because some scenes are really, 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 really heavy. Uh, I changed it to just create an, uh, an instance name instead of just copying stuff, uh, loading stuff into Houdini. But uh, I don't know. I I will. I think I'm gonna have to have two options for this: uh, one that loads the geometry and ones that one in. Uh, option that actually just creates the instance attribute for you can uh, actually just uh, render that but uh, let me change what I what I had so we can see here what we have so it's all it's all Python stuff and uh, and it works pretty well actually so I was actually pretty surprised because a lot of people said that uh, Python it's really slow and uh, you should be using uh, BEX for for geometry and stuff and it, it's actually not slow at all so let's see we let me just delete all this stuff and this guy should let us let's load yeah let's load that one let's see if it works right now I just have it in one Python uh, SOP here I have all my code there because now it's not working here let's see what happened uh, what is it doing let's see there is some stuff here it's not a body group weird didn't create the groups maybe let's see what else did I change my code so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, share this code on github as soon as I get it working uh, correctly let me just see that's the curves part this thing didn't generate any points weird it loaded the instances but uh, you can see it loaded the tree and it loaded the instance here you can see this is what I'm talking about this is one one piece of the uh, leaves basically which is just being instanced into a lot of points uh, but uh, I it didn't generate the oh I don't want to do that didn't generate the points for some reason let's try this again so yeah, I've been playing with this, so there's errors, of course. Uh, let's see, where did I, where am I creating the points? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. I'm creating points here. I think I, did this incorrectly just want to show you what I had uh, have right now uh, so geo okay so yeah I'm creating ge geometry here but I don't see it nope that's weird all right well i guess we're gonna have to just leave this for later let's see if we can load uh the palm tree which was really cool to do that actually come on ah, I, I think there's an issue in the code because it's starting to load again and again let's kill that guy uh, let's see let's load the other asset I like the palm tree because I had to generate geometry so uh, you can see this this parser basically or this importer takes the JSON file that uh, that it comes from from the data that Disney 
uh, gave away and you can see this is what I'm talking about you can see all those you saw that how fast Python generated all those curves that's all generated from from the file that uh, that I have here so you can see this all this geometry is like 50,000 points were generated just in one freaking instance this is what 1.4 seconds it says so that's pretty cool and then it imported the palm tree as well so did a bunch of stuff in just uh, very little time so let's just merge this two to see what we have actually is this one so yeah there's some things to so yeah that's that's that it's all geometry that it those curves there that source geometry doesn't exist on the file it just comes with comes as a uh, uh, where is that data assets it comes as just a text file basically so you can see palm rig is this one actually you can see this is like curve points and I'm just going through those points. So Python is reading the file, parsing out the data, then creating the geometry and it's pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know why people said that Python is slow for ge geometry. I don't know. That's just uh, weird, but it's really, it's really nice. It's getting there. Uh, so I will post this, this uh, parser when I'm, when I'm get it more stable because right now I'm just trying to figure out stuff and that's that's the great thing about the the asset they release they are they are for research and for you to get experience with re really huge assets uh, and, and that's great I actually really really love this and I will solve this I will solve this for sure I can show you some pictures of what I have done so this is uh, what I've already managed to import since this is the palm tree, it's rendered with uh, RenderMan here. So those those leaves are basically just curves. So the the width of it, uh, the position of all the stuff comes from those uh, JSON files. And uh, let's see, there's another one. This is the first one I made, which is just loading instances. Uh, which is cool. Looks pretty cool. And it gets the, uh, the all the position, rotation, and stuff. That all comes comes from the files. This is the uh, the other one I did. It's a kind of a, like a small tree, a bush, and it has a lot of different instances. All the leaves have different are different files, and 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 there's like uh, flowers on on that thing. It's pretty cool. So it's getting there. Uh, I will when I have it uh, more solid I will post post the code as I said so the other thing I want to announce actually is that now we have a new discord server and let me share the the uh, the address here here it is we have a discord server for mixed training Woo! and uh, let me just copy the the uh, The address, I would. It's already in the. Uh, the address should already be in the. The comments, so you can uh, see it there if you want to. But if you just want to see this, is, you don't see it. This is the invite. You can visit that address and get uh, into the uh, the new Discord server for mixed training. Uh, we are gonna be uh, doing a lot of stuff with the Discord server, especially support. So that's why why I, why I created the Discord server. Uh, there's already a few people there. Uh, please join. Uh, you can ask questions there. You can have support for if you are a client of us. There will be support there uh, for training, for tab two, and for other things that we're going to do. So I really recommend you are a member of the Discord uh, server because it's gonna help you. It's just, it's just gonna reach us uh, uh, faster. So what the hell is that? That's another M file. Let's uh, 
Nope. What am I doing here? Huh. Let me leave that. So yeah, please, if you guys uh, already, you are guys already joining, please, thank you. And uh, please join and thank you for joining. Uh, where's my window? Damn it. Nope. Uh, come on, give me my window. Here it is. Okay. All right. So uh, that's the other thing we had to announce that the Discord server, which is great, uh, which which uh, again will be really nice to communicate with you guys, talk, just uh, hang around, ask questions, learn from each other. That's it. That's that's what we want to do. Especially just uh, trying to help you guys. Uh, so if you want there. Uh, just please join the community and we can hang out there. All right, so that's, uh, thank you, MES. Glad to uh, have you there. All right, so now uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about today, it's learning to learn. And this is a nice that I thing I wanna talk uh, with everyone because I don't know, some people seem uh, super, lazy to do stuff <laughs> there I said it uh, but uh, should we do the giveaway before we go into this now nah, let's leave the giveaway for let's just talk and then we do the giveaway and then we continue with questions or something all right so um, learning to learn uh, this is something that it's actually really important to me because as you know i like to teach uh, people stuff you're here i i'm here trying to share what i know trying to share with you what uh, trying to learn from you guys trying to learn every time i do a tutorial i learn something new so that's uh that's amazing that uh, that we can learn from each other and all that stuff right but i guess some people just they do just don't want to do anything i guess they just want to give me a hip file or just uh, tell me in what order i need to put the notes to do this uh you wouldn't believe the questions that i get <laughs> uh so I, I can start by telling you how the hell do I know the things that I know and uh, that's basically I think the main one is just pressing F1 if you press F1 you'll get this and this is the greatest way to learn Houdini hey Diogo what's up uh people people i see a lot of people asking in on 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 facebook and other places how do i learn houdini how do i learn houdini where do i start press f1 so if you just press f1 uh bob oh thank you bob thanks a lot man thank you very much i really appreciate it you rock man Thank you for supporting us there. Uh, if you want to learn Houdini, just press F1. The help will pop up and you can start reading the damn thing. It says here, getting started. And it tells you what's new in Houdini, the basic, tells you about shelf tools, tells you what the, the networks and parameters, gives you a bunch of examples to learn from, tells you how to use the help. <laughs> which I already actually did videos about. And then it gives you all of Houdini in sections, the geometry, instances, animation, characters, rendering, etc., etc., dynamics. Everything is here in, in the help in Houdini. And I, I've learned so much. I almost every single day I have the help open because when I'm programming, in Houdini, I don't know every fucking command in Houdini. I don't know it. When I'm doing this thing, when I'm doing this Python code, 
when I'm creating this this thing, I know a few of the commands, but I don't know every single command. So I have I have the 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 Python help open here, uh, Python scripting. I just have it open because I need to reference something. Let's see who would uh, know. I have this stuff open here and I see what's, what's here and what is not, what can I do. I explore the damn thing. So I have it open all the time. It's not like I already read it and I have it all in my memory and I know everything and and it just that, that's how everyone else works and that's not how people work. <laughs> it's just like that's like a crazy thing that some people think that we we that have uh, some experience in Houdini, we just know everything and, and we don't even have to look at the uh, at the help and that is such a wrong idea. So if you want to learn Houdini, please read the help. I don't want I don't want you to read the whole thing. The the way I learn and the way everyone should learn you should learn just to learn you should have something to do let's say and please please if you're just starting in Houdini don't want to do the hardest thing in the book please don't <laughs> I see so much people just trying to do the hardest parts of Houdini the first time they use it it's like no that's not how you learn Houdini I just mess up my my panel here sorry because <laughs> I'm just ranting here uh, all right crap I just lost my hack my icons but whatever so all right thank you Riz oh man more patreons awesome thank you guys uh, so yeah, some people just say, oh, I want to use Houdini. I'm going to learn explosions. <laughs> I want to learn uh, destruction. I want to destroy a building. Of course we all want to do that. Of course. But you can just run the Olympics before you run the small races in your town. You know, the, y you will get there. You will get there for sure. But just give it time give it time so be patient that's another thing you have to be patient and you have to dedicate yourself to do uh, stuff to 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 learn uh, let me just do something really quickly here okay so yeah I'm gonna be ranting today okay guys so don't try not to uh, kill me I'm gonna rant a little bit all right so yeah don't try to go for the neck first try to first start at the bottom I see it like a, I see it like a house you know if you if you're gonna build the house or if this is gonna be the first house you ever built you're not gonna build a you're not gonna do a, a skyscraper you're not gonna do a 10 story tall building or a full mall you're gonna start with a small house all right Riz, don't worry about it man you're gonna start with something small and when you start you're gonna start from the bottom you're gonna Put first the first uh, how is that thing called in, in English I don't know uh, how do you call that sorry just uh, have a lapse there uh, the foundations yeah the foundations you first put the foundations of the of the house and then you start building from there you don't start from the from the uh, top or you don't stop buying the most amazing furniture and then put it there it's gonna get stolen 
you first have to you have your foundations your walls then your ceiling thank you aa uh you can, you need to have all that stuff first then you your windows and then you paint it and then you put your flooring and then you bring the furniture and then you start making it look cool and and that's the process of it you don't start with just i want to have the house tomorrow it's like just like that doesn't happen anywhere in any in any application in any in any uh career in anything it doesn't happen like that it should be like first we do this and then we do this other thing and then we start building on it all right and i'm gonna start talking about what you need to learn first uh because bob is asking that and i'll i'll move on to that but i want to say this because i see a lot of people they want they, they ask me directly like this what should i study to become uh, an fx td and you don't study anything to be an fx td you become an fx td like when you when you start doing stuff when you start working when you have already experience and stuff you start working on a, at a studio and you have you know a lot of stuff in the studio then you become a td because you know all those stuff you become a td because you are a hard worker you know a lot of stuff about different different parts of the production not just not just your own work but other works because a td has to support others most of the time so is there a, a university to teach you that most of the time no there are a few thing a few i think courses but uh but that is mostly something that you become over time it's not just like oh i just graduated as an fx td and now i'm gonna work in the uh coolest movie of all time and uh if it happened to you sorry great but uh generally it doesn't happen like that uh dr strange says study martial arts yeah sure why not uh martial arts uh, teach, teaches you a lot of stuff like discipline um respect uh your opponents uh teaches you uh how to be strong how to practice uh so yeah if you study martial arts it will give you a lot of tools for for your life uh so uh, that's my rant about that and please try to and and uh, please try to go from the fun, from foundations of everything in everything you learn in everything you want to learn uh, start with the foundations and and one thing I always say is uh, everything is the result of how much time you put into it so I'm gonna say that again everything is the result of of how much time you put into it so if you think i'm good i am good because i i have uh, if i'm you let's rephrase that because i'm not good at everything if you think i'm good at houdini that is true because i'm good at houdini because i have spent a lot of time into houdini learning houdini studying houdini exploring houdini so that's why I have a proficient level in Houdini. It's not because I just woke up one day and I said, "Ah, oh, I'm gonna learn Houdini, whatever." Next, next day I'm I'm a genius. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even after all these years about studying Houdini. So I put out a lot of time in Houdini, and now I have a a, a level, a proficiency level in Houdini that I can work on movies. TV, all that stuff. Am I the greatest Houdini user in the world? No, I'm not. But I could be if I keep putting time into some of the things that I uh, lack. I can be that. But uh, it's it's everything. It's it's how much how much time you put into stuff. So we are we are all great in in this thing this thing 
Can you see that? Let me see. I don't see my my own. See this thing. Your phone. We're all great about typing in this thing. We're all great about seeing notifications. We're all, we're all masters of this thing. Because we put so much time into this. So much time we put into this. I can type with this thing fast. I can I can use it. I can take pictures. I can I know what how much battery is gonna how much the battery is gonna last me in a day, whatever. Because we put so much time into this. We have it in, in our hand basically all day. So we're masters of that this thing. Because we put so much time into it. So as long as, as, long as I'm typing and just talking. So we're freaking masters of this thing. If I had my guitar every day on my hands, every single time, as much as I have my phone, I'll be a fucking freaking master of that. But I'm, I don't have it uh, all the time on my hands. I don't practice as much. So I'm not great at guitar. I am okay, but I'm not great. If I practice more, I'll, I I get great if I practice, but I'm not. I practice Houdini a lot, so I'm good at Houdini. But they, you know, that's logical. So, what should you start learning in Houdini? You should start with SOPs. And SOPs is geometry operators in Houdini I uh, I I say it's not wholly true but I say that everything is geometry in Houdini why do I say that it's because basically in in SOPs uh, you always uh, let me switch this in SOPs you you can manage everything in SOPs you can you are gonna be using you're gonna be doing geometry. You're gonna be creating volumes. You're gonna uh, render your particles in subs. You're gonna uh, chops. You use them in 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 subs. So in geometry, it's everything comes to to subs. And uh, even materials are done for shops for 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 geometry for subs. Uh, cups is the same thing. Is for for that. So everything revolves around SOPs so you should start with that what am I talking about here so geometry when you create geometry this is object level and when you go inside this node this is geometry or SOPs so this is what you should learn first this is what you should go and, and experiment with a lot of the stuff you within is this done here and uh, and this is what you should learn first. I, I don't think you should go and let me bring the, uh, when you press tab in Houdini, you have this, this list that could be really helpful and could be really intimidating also because you go through this and you say like, oh great, that's, uh, that's a lot of notes. And oh, okay, oh, my, more notes. Oh, more, oh, what? More notes, more, oh crap, more. Oh no, more notes. Oh no, hair, more notes. Oh no, more notes. Let me go to the old section and just like, oh my God, there's so much notes here. And yes, there is a lot of notes in Houdini. Do you need to learn every single note? No, you don't have to know every single note in Houdini. You don't, you don't. There's notes here there that I have never used in my life. And I've, <laughs> I've used Houdini for many, many, many years. Uh, let's say, which one? Bolsh. I never used that Bolsh node in my life. Uh, which one? Well, another one. Let's say, ENDS. I've never used the ENDS <laughs> node ever. Why? I, I haven't had something to do with it. Uh, manipulate. Let's say, uh, Ripple. I think I... I don't know. Maybe once I, I I've never used that one. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, go to nerves. Most of these I've never used. Uh, a line never used. 
uh, bases never used, uh, carb I use, clay never used, curb clay never, uh, curb section never, fillet I think I've used that, join I've used, but yeah you don't have to learn all of the nodes, you don't have to know all the nodes to, to think that you're good in Houdini. And the way you should learn is you should, if you're not at school learning Houdini or you're just learning as a hobby, less, like Bob is saying that uh, Houdini uh, and 3D is a hobby for him, for him and he enjoys learning things. We should all be enjoying learning. When you, when you, some people tell me, man, I wish I knew so much about Houdini. I, I, uh, I don't I don't know anything I want to know everything about Houdini and I'm like he's like desperate because uh, I don't know am I wasting my life and and all this drama and I'm like how old are you I'm 22 and I'm like dude you're 22 your life just started dude <laughs> 22 you're just young you're starting way earlier than me into Houdini. I didn't start Houdini at 22. It's like, what is the drama here? <laughs> you want to know everything about Houdini by tomorrow? You want to be a master of it by tomorrow? There's, it's not possible. It's not possible for anyone. If you put an, a rocket scientist here from NASA I can show him stuff in Houdini that he doesn't know. And he can show me how to uh, combustion formulas and uh, fly pads and math really advanced. But, uh, but I can still show him a lot of new stuff in Houdini and, and maybe even impress him like, oh wow, that's pretty cool that you can do that. And he can show me and can teach me a lot of stuff that he does but not because he he's uh, just a rocket scientist at, at, at NASA. He's gonna be like, oh, oh yeah, I understand everything here in Houdini. Oh, you want me to do an explosion? Sure. You wanna fracture stuff? Oh, sure. Oh, man, this is so easy. It's not. And he, he, if he sees Bex, he's gonna be like, hmm, maybe I know C++. It looks similar, but uh, no, I really don't know. What a vertex? No, I I've never used a vertex before. UVs? What's what's UVs? So, if you're just starting Houdini, you're in the same place as everyone else. So, don't freak out. Just start learning stuff and enjoy it. Enjoy it, please. I, you don't know how much I enjoy 3D. I enjoy a lot. I enjoy learning. Uh, new stuff a lot and um, there's a lot of messages coming I don't know why let me just turn down my phone people that don't know we're busy doing this learn day uh, so yeah don't freak out start learning the basics start with start with uh, sobs and start if you if you say like what should I do well get something see some examples out there let's say you want to model this microphone, maybe. Try and model that in Houdini. How can I do it in Houdini? How can I do it in, in a way that it's interesting to me? Uh, the other question that I don't like a lot is, what's the best practice? It's like, mm, break, best practice is just a way somebody did it. Doesn't mean it's the best way. It's a way, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna be the the best practice. There's p things that uh, that that gets you to a result, but it doesn't mean that it's just the only way or the best way or the way that works for everyone. So, best practices are like a double-edged sword. All right, it, try not to get caught into that, because that if you if you believe about about. Uh, best practices you're putting yourself in a box like oh no i can't use the this node for that 
even I even if I'm doing something interesting that looks different and it's not the the way that it's supposed to be used then you're limiting yourself to do stuff in a certain way and and don't get out of that box and and that's why people say oh think out of the box because all these people just think like this and you should think out of the box etc but it's just it's just that you're putting some like crazy rules that, that don't, don't exist really uh so yeah i'm talking a lot so let's see what uh what you guys are saying uh do you have a playlist of houdini f foundations no i don't i don't have a, a playlist of that but um in the uh side effects website there's a getting started tutorials as well so you should get on that i i i've been planning to create a a dedicated a uh, curse that will be long and hard about learning houdini from scratch but that's gonna take time to get ready and i want to talk to side effects so they can uh make it like an official thing and, and not that that's gonna be like certified let's say uh but it's gonna be a long thing and it's not gonna be uh like tomorrow again <laughs> it's not gonna be done tomorrow because i want it to be really 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 good and uh and i'm planning to do that and i will do that actually uh, so let's say uh, work with one at sub two point wrangles to learn Bex. Uh, Bex is not the only thing in Houdini. I, 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 I know Bex has got a lot of popularity lately, but it's not the only thing in Houdini, guys. Uh, Bex, it's, it's cool. It, it's good for what it does. But not everything is supposed to be done in Bex, and and doing Bex doesn't guarantee you anything. If you don't know other parts of Houdini, or you, if you're only gonna, if you're only gonna work doing Bex, that's great. But as lo as FX CDs or FX artists don't just use Bex; they use a lot of stuff. So don't get caught up just in Bex uh christian says uh, wants to get back into houdini but works in maya uh yeah i i've been there when i started uh, learning houdini i i was working at a studio that used maya and i was it was terrible terrible because i wanted to use houdini and i knew that stuff would be much simpler to do in houdini <laughs> uh but yeah try to try to spend some time on your free time christian it will pay it off at the end uh loves the uh christian also says that loves the procedural workflow in houdini yeah it's pretty cool uh glad you're enjoying the topic aquarium space and uh <laughs> bob he says he doesn't remember 22 yeah it's been a while for me as well <laughs> not, not not sure how old are you but i'm freaking old uh the horrors in Uh, 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 Alright, yeah. Uh, Kristen said that Mops reminds uh, him of Mash in Maya. Actually, uh, Mops it's it's uh, it's inspired as as far as I know. As far as I know, uh, as far as I know, Mops is inspired more more in MoGraph, which is uh, the C4D uh, tools. And actually, I think the Maya Tools Mash is also inspired by that. So, the origin of that comes from 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 cinema cinema 4D. So that's what all those uh, things come from. The cinema tools are amazing. Uh, all right. So yeah, Bob uh, brings a good point. Uh, he says that uh, he doesn't know what to use for this or that and and recently we had a discussion in the forums right bob about using the wrong tool because he wanted to use the knife tool that it's called in, in cinema is called knife and in houdini the knife tool it's a different tool and 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 he was he was trying to do something in that uh that could be really easily done in cinema but uh, in houdini is the tool is called differently so they he was like Oh, why this tool doesn't do that thing? So actually, let's uh, do that here. 
and uh, in Houdini the knife tool what in what in what in uh, in cinema is the knife tool uh, basically the uh, in Houdini is the uh, the poly split tool let me just change this to poly modeling so the poly split tool is what the knife tool is in in cinema and you can just add uh, cuts like this and this is what uh, what Bob wanted to do for a tutorial he was like trying to get something like this and cuts around like that you can actually skip parts of this and do all those cuts with one go right so sometimes this fails so just uh, be careful with that no it did it did good actually seems like let's see yeah, did the right thing. Houdini Power did, and uh, so he wanted to do that, and and he was trying to use the knife tool, which is different in Houdini. Just the knife tool is just one slice, and uh, what you should have been using is the poly split for that. So uh, sometimes you don't know what to use in Houdini. Uh, so what you wanna what you wanna do is. Just try to use the notes. Uh, try to search the notes and see what they what they are about. Like I want to do uh, that. That's one of the reason about tab two. I want to get more faster to the, the help of everything. But let's say we want to learn about the knife tool. Let's uh, put a knife tool here. Knife. You can click this guy here. There's a little icon there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Woo, I can zoom in. Hopefully you're seeing that. There is a little icon there. Maybe you're not seeing that. I don't know. There's a little help button there on the top there. Uh, so that button, if you click it, when you have that tool, if you click it, it's going to take you directly to the help of that tool. And, and I want to make this more accessible with tab 2. That's basically the reason I created tab 2. Tab 2 is going to have this uh, faster. But you, there's help here, how you use it, how you cut stuff, etc. And if you do the same for the poly, poly split tool, you can see, see it here. Again, it loads the help for that. It's taking a while to learn. Come on. So there we go how you use it, how you in use it for different things, how you use it to insert loops, how you use it, uh, some tips, uh, the parameters here, what the parameters mean. So quad auto completion, you can see this thing, it's super useful. Most people don't use this, this kind of, uh, uh, this, uh, this feature that was what I trying to do say uh, there's a lot of stuff it explains it explains everything every single part of the notes and some notes even have examples let's see a poly wire you can see all the notes are here so if you want to know what notes to use well just get reading all the notes have their own help and every note is here Keep this open while you're using Houdini, and let's say, oh, I wanna, I wanna revolve something around a curve, create something with a curve. Uh, let's see, rails might look like it does that. Uh, revolve, there's a revolve tool. Oh, revolve! There's even a tutorial here. There's even a tutorial there for revolve. Uh, are you guys seeing what? I, yeah, all right. I I thought that I didn't switch the camera, but yeah, there's even a tutorial there. There's uh, more help here, and there's a bunch of examples here. There's a glass, fluid glass. Uh, so yeah, that's it's. Houdini is the best tool to learn. Period, because whenever you open something, like let's say, let's open this example. Let's load that guy. Uh, did it load? Let's see. I don't know. Let's go up here. There, yeah, there it is here I loaded like five times <laughs> uh, trigger happy so 
why is Houdini the best tool for learning? Because it tells you everything that has been done. Like if you go inside here, even it, these examples even have notes. But even if there's no notes, you can actually click on stuff and say, okay, so this is the container. Everything that it's bold here in the parameters has been changed. So you know that here something changed and it changed this parameter here. Okay, it put some parameters there. Here inside, okay, this is changed. And this is changed because that the coordinates that creates the curve. Uh, so they are creating a curve here. So basically, every Houdini scene is basically a tutorial. So, all right, step one, create a curve. Change the two nerves. Put these coordinates on the curve or just do it the interactive way. Step two, put a revolve node. Revolve node. There's no changes here. Everything is default. It's by default there. Step three, convert it to polygons. This node, what does this node do? Converts everything to polygons because this guy creates nerves. How do you know that? Well, click this little eye there. We have nerve surfaces. And after we convert it here, we have polygons. We no, don't, no longer have nerve surfaces. Then step four, fuse them. Add a fuse to with this distance to fuse the points. And basically that's a tutorial right there. That's how you model this thing. Oh, and the magic of Houdini, you can go back and say, okay, now I can modify these points, right? to have another shape and add points to it and uh, and I can create something different. So you can see basically any, everything you could is a freaking tutorial. That's that's why it's super amazing. Super cool. So yeah, again here there's just the box and then he does step two creates that into a surface and then step three makes that into uh, a volume mix for some kind. I don't know why is what is actually happening here, but yeah, we destroy that thing, but uh, it's still kind of working. So yeah, I encourage you to look around. There's no right or, and wrong way. You have my permission. Let me put the big camera for this. Here, look at me. You have my permission to do wrong things you have my permissions to be uh wrong you have my permission to explore and you have my permission to be not right every single time <laughs> basically you have my permission to be wrong please be wrong <laughs> and just make stuff add stuff like crazy maybe you will maybe you will learn something a new use for something that's how innovation comes when you grab something that's supposed to be used for one thing and use it for another and they say oh i never thought about that yeah because you were in this freaking box <laughs> all right so i hope you guys uh get something useful from this and i can tell you how i learn how I learn is I press F1, I read the freaking documentation, and then I explore around, and I'm not afraid to be wrong. Even even my tutorials, uh, the, the tutorial that I just posted uh, uh, this Monday, somebody told me, yeah, you know what? It's really confusing that you're using Prim UV as an attribute, and then you're using later the Prim UV function even even saying that it's like yeah you're right you're right i i should have made that more clear you're right that that is confusing i should have called the first attribute maybe quads uvs uh i just wanted to make it clear that those were the were those were kind of like primitive uvs but yeah he was right i should have called that something different that I will do it uh, at later points on other tutorials, but I I was not afraid. I, I'm not afraid to to say yeah. I was I was wrong with that. I should have made it more clear. 
But uh, I am not afraid to be wrong. Uh, I've never been afraid to be wrong. And, and the other thing is I've never been afraid to share what I know because there's people out there sometimes that they, uh, they're kind of afraid to share what they know. And that's nah, people. Don't talk about that people. But mostly the Houdini community, it's amazing. So, so yeah, hopefully you guys are getting something useful for this. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Experiment. Learn the documentation because everything is there. Side effects creates the node, writes the documentation, and puts it there for you. So if you wanna, uh, if you wanna source for everything about Houdini is the Houdini help. Everything is there. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if there's any questions and I can just shut up. And do I'd let, we still need to give the, do the giveaway. Uh, how do you extract the polish you just got? Uh, you select them. It's not ev nothing. Uh, not everything. It's just magic. If you, if I just cut those polygons, and I want to extract them, maybe I could. The, the the edge is still selected, or seems like it's selected. We could try. Let's see if we can. Uh, now select, uh, select polygons boundary. All right, so I select the boundary there. Uh, you might not want that. You might want to be that uh, inside. So maybe. Uh, select boundary now. Well, no, there's, I don't think there's a way to just select what it's inside here, if that's what you want. But uh, actually the way is just clicking on them. That's the way you select them. You want to extract those for something else? Uh, delete them, or there is a tool. <laughs> There's that's another topic. Why why do people hate uh, shelf tools? They're like, I don't know. There's an extract uh, option there. You can click it, and there you go. Creates another object with that selection you can see there's another object completely oh sorry you're not seeing the screen all right sorry 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 let's do that again uh so we have this thing we have this uh selection that we will create the poly split you can uh, go to right click and there's a few selection options here uh i don't think you can select what it's inside you can select the boundary like that uh if we if you want to select what it's inside uh i don't think there's a way for that but you can just click on them i already said that but you can just click on them what's wrong with clicking uh if you want to extract that to another object there's this tool here in the shelf tools that you can just click it and then creates another new object here with that just those polygons there so if you want to extract it to another object you can do that if you just want to delete those uh, faces uh, you can uh, just press delete and invert the selection delete you deleted that I wanted to keep that then just go to the blast and say delete non selected and then you have the not not the selected things and uh, that's way you can extract that uh, the built-in server is low on my computer uh, yeah the, the Houdini help takes a while to start I don't know why and I, I think that in, in, in Windows it's a little bit slower, not sure why. Uh, I recommend you guys use this, let's see, there is, there is an option in the Houdini environment that I use. You can see my, my help opens in an external, opens in, in Chrome basically. So use this guy, 
Houdini help external browser, uh, Houdini external help browser, put it to one. And then this will, whenever you press F1, it will open in a browser. And I think it's faster when you use it like this. So try using that option in your Houdini M file. I use this all the time. I also use this option to use the uh, included Houdini Python version. I removed this because I was testing something, but I always use that as well. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, quantum negative. It's, it's not because of your computer. It's because it, it unpacks the help every time. Uh, it's, it's actually the Houdini help is packed into zip files. Uh, 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 uh. Houdini, I think Houdini, I think not. It's not even in beta. Uh, there's some people that have seen Houdini 17. I've been told. <laughs> uh, when you start learning Houdini, you should not start with the shelf tools. Yeah, you should use the shelf tools. Yeah, use the shelf tools. Why not? It's like it's like you're saying don't use these buttons in Houdini when you're learning. It's like that's that's not good advice. You should use whatever there is here in Houdini. You should use it. You should. You're not. You're not meant to be an expert in Houdini in every single part. You should use whatever, whatever makes your work, whatever gets you to the result you want. Just use it. If I want to use, why why shouldn't I use this to create a camera? Huh? You're saying if I want to create a camera, I shouldn't use this button. You're saying if I want to create light, I shouldn't cr use this button. That's crazy. Why not? Why not? I don't see why not. If I want to delete something and I want to use this button, I want I can use this that button. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the shelf tools. If you don't want to know what the shelf tools do, you are you have everything. It's okay to use them. There's nothing wrong with them. If you want to know what the shelf tool does, you can go ahead and experiment with it. You can learn what it is, what's happening. You can learn it if you want to, if you need to, but it's nothing wrong with using the shelf tools. There's nothing wrong. I use shelf tools all the time. Could I recreate the tools? Yes. I Have I created more advanced tools than some of the tools that are in the shelf? Yes. I can create the tools. I can create it myself. Do I use them? Yes, because they make my life easier. What is wrong with that? I want to go home. I want to, uh, well, I'm home. I want to get out of work early. If if a shelf tool helps me go have time with my wife and my daughter, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. All right. Enough run. Uh... Uh, wink, wink. Yes, I. I can't say anything about future releases of Houdini. I can't say. All right, guys, let's do the raffle because, as I was telling you, I need to get to my family. So, all right. I think this thing just broke. I had the names there already, and it just reloaded. Let's see. I have the names here. Thankfully, I didn't. Uh... So, all right, there's seven people. So there's a uh, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, what is it? Uh, like 14% uh, chance you win something. So let's go. Let's spin this. So this is the. Uh, this is the raffle. Are uh, you guys seeing this? All right. This is big on the screen. Everybody can see this. I'm not gonna cheat. If Luis Roman wins again, he's gonna be one freaking lucky guy because he won last month. But it's luck. I'm not. I'm not a. 
I was actually tempted to say that Luis wouldn't be uh, participating this month, but it's, that's not fair. That's not fair. So let's spin this and see who wins. It's spinning. Oh, and this is Will, my man, my, yeah, Will is my buddy, uh, less like everyone else, but I know Will, he's gonna, he just won, Will, you won, my friend, I'm gonna give you some training, I'm gonna be so pleased to give you some training, I think he already owns some training, so I'm gonna be so happy to give him some more training, awesome, he's gonna be happy, he, he, He's a, a really cool dude, so he's gonna be very happy about this. Awesome! Well, let's put here he won. I I won. I won't uh, forget this, but I just wanted to. So yeah, um, let's go back to. So that's the raffle winner. If you wanna win this thing, you should you should support us on Patreon. Uh, with ten dollars or more and and this uh and this happens after the month is done because patreon collects uh donations at the end of the at the start of the month all right so whoever just entered today or just donated this month it's gonna be in the raffle for uh in the next uh, month in uh, june what is it august yeah all right so, hey, Russian, Ruslan, Ruslan, yeah. Uh, Bob, uh, where, where, uh, you wanted to know about uh, this thing again, right? This is huge, so let's just make it smaller, smaller, smaller. So this, this thing you should put there is a uh, in your Houdini dot env. There's a file in your um, in your settings in in Windows should be in in documents. There is a Houdini 16.5 folder and there should be a file called Houdini.env. You should edit that file and add this uh, variable there. I have a bunch of variables you can see. Woo variables. Um, but yeah, you should add that in that file, Bob. That is where you put that. If you don't know what that is, uh, the only way I know how to get it in any system, it's open a Python shell and put Houdini dot uh, home home Houdini direct directory uh, brackets, and it will tell you where it is. If you want to do it that way. You can do it that way. If uh, let me copy the command here to the uh, editor, so you, everyone can see it. This is the command you can run in Houdini to know where it is. I know that in Mac, I never know what that thing is. So because I don't use Mac a lot, so so that's what you uh, can put that command. All right, so let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Will you do a session in, on Jumanji? I yeah, we were gonna do something on Jumanji. I'm even I'm even gonna do some training about it, right? Uh, okay, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Congrats to my man Will. I will write him. I write him an email about that. Uh, just so you guys know, I contacted Luis Latman. He was really happy that he won. And he wanted the uh, magical fire effects training. That's what he got. So that's uh, an 89 bucks uh, training for thin. <laughs> that's a fucking discount, if you ask me. Uh, Doctor Strange says, "How did you get into Yumanji? Uh, the studio that I was doing some effects had they had some explosions." Uh, shots they call me they wanted can, they literally told me can you be here tomorrow and and that studio is in, in another part of Mexico and I was like what <laughs> yeah can you be here tomorrow to do some explosions and I was like yes and I got there I did the work for a while and then uh, he came back and did some other work and etc 
So that's how I got into Jumanji, just by being awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, there's, I have a friend there. I Now I have more friends there, but uh, someone that works there is my friend. I have worked with him before. So when he they wanted to do a explosion, he thought about me. He called me and I, was, I said, yeah, sure. It's really cool. I didn't know that I was going to work in Jumanji. I just knew that it was uh, for a film. When I got there, I signed the NDA and then they told me, all right, this is for Jumanji too. And I was like, what? Cool. I, I, I didn't even knew what I was going to work on when I got there. So that's how I got into that. Friends, having friends and, and working good for them, uh, making good work. That's what got me into Jumanji, not my skills. Uh, well, my skills as well, but uh, being a good friend, uh, making good work, uh, helping people with projects. And uh, when they had a nice project, they called me and I said, cool, I can do it. And, and that's how I got it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for being here again. I, I really love you guys. Again, go to the Discord server. If you haven't, uh, here's the address again. We're gonna have fun there. We're gonna keep learning. You, you can, we can keep this chat that we have right now going. Let me switch to the, there is the address for this Discord server. Uh, join it. We can keep chatting there during the week. We can keep asking questions there. If you want to have questions there, answer. Uh, we can help each other there, and uh, we can learn from each other as we always do. All right. Uh, thank you again guys for being here. I really appreciate you guys being here. I need to eat. I'm upset. It's really late and I haven't eaten because I uh, had breakfast really, really late today. So thank you for being here. I hope that everything I said is helpful to you. If you have questions, please go to the forums, go to the uh, Discord channel. Um, and, and that's it. Thank you again for being here. I really, guys, I really appreciate it, uh, you guys being here. Um, that's it. See you guys next week. Have a nice week, and let's keep learning together. Cool. Right? Thank you. That's, uh, I now I don't, I can't find the button that ends the stream. Alrighty, here it is. Bye.